Hi guys, Della here from Della Larson's class. Today we're talking about my favorite topic, Google Classroom. The most frequently asked question I get when it comes to Google Classroom is can I use it on the iPad? And the simple answer is yes. Because you know when it comes to the iPad, there's an app for that. There's a couple extra steps that you're going to need to know in order for your kids to be moving those pieces and filling in the blank, but don't worry. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps and you'll be all set up in no time. Okay, so let's talk about how you can use the iPad on Google Classroom. The first thing you need to do is go to settings and make sure you have the most updated software available. If your iOS is below 8.0, you're not going to be able to upload the apps that you need. So you may have to go ahead and upload your software first. If your software is up to date, you're all set. Go straight to the App Store and you're going to get two apps. They're both free, so don't worry. The first app you need is Google Classroom. So here's Google Classroom. You need to go ahead and um, download that one and then you'll be good. Then the next one you need is Google Slides. Now this is one that a lot of people make a mistake with. They don't get Google Slides and it's the Google Slides that's going to allow you to have those movable pieces. So it's really critical that you get Google Slides. So make sure you go ahead and get that one. They're both free so you'll be all set. Okay, so now that you have that app, you just go to the app and you sign in just like you would on any other one. So I'm gonna sign in as if I'm a student so you can see what it looks like from the student's perspective. Okay, so after the kids have put in their email and their password, they're going to see themselves. So they go ahead and here are my assignments. So I'm gonna go ahead and open an assignment. This is the piece that's really, really critical. The kids have to click on their assignment, here it is, and then right up here, they have to open it up in Google Slides. That is the really, really important piece. If they don't open it in Google Slides, they're not gonna be able to move the pieces. And isn't that what we all want anyways? So here we are. The kids need to move three more coins to the piggy bank. So how are they gonna do that? If they try to move it, it won't move. Here's the secret, you have to tap it. Once you tap it, you can move it. They tap it and they move it. They tap it and they move it. What if they make a mistake and they stretch out that movable piece? Don't worry, there's undo on the iPad. It's this little arrow up there and it becomes your best friend. Make sure you teach them the undo. Okay, so now they've moved their coins, but now they have to fill in the blank. How do you fill in the blank? There's no keyboard. Simple, double tap. You tap that twice and it will bring up the keyboard. So they add it in and now to get rid of the T keyboard, they just tap the screen. Tap that screen and it will go away. So let's go to another one, I'll show you it again. Tap and move. Tap and move. Tap and move. Up, oh, make a mistake, no problem. Undo. Tap and move. Tap and move. Did you use the fill in the blank? Double tap, it'll bring up your keyboard. Put it in, write in your answer, tap the screen, it goes away. It's that simple. Now, if they want to submit their work, how do they do it? There's no submit on this page. Easy. Go back to the home screen. This time, they need to go back to the classroom. Here's the assignment. Turn it in. That simple. To review. Of course you can use Google Classroom on your iPad. You just need to make sure you have the Google Classroom app and the Google Slides app. Don't forget that Google Slide app. That's going to allow you to use the movable pieces. Go ahead and open up your Google Classroom. Click on your assignment. Open it up in Google Slides. And it will just give it a minute. It will open it up. 
when it comes to movable pieces, you tap and move. Tap and move. That's how you do it. Just tap it once and you can move it. When it comes to fill in the blank, tap it twice. It will open up your keyboard. You can fill it in and just touch the screen. It will go away. When you're ready to submit, you click the home button Go back to Google Classroom and just hit the turn in button. That's it. That's how easy it is. See, didn't I tell you? It's so easy. Before you know it, you'll be downloading those apps and using your iPad for Google Classroom. Make sure that you follow my store so you stay up to date on all my videos. And if you're interested in the resource that you saw shown in this video, it's in the link below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.